Hi, I'm Tom Ruiz and I'm a math supervisor. Today we're going to discuss how to factor polynomials that have radicals in them. Um, here's an example of one of the more basic polynomials with a radical involved. A radical is your basic square root symbol. So in order to find the square root of something, you need to know what number times itself gives you what's inside here. However, 32 is not a perfect square, therefore there's not any given number that you can multiply itself by to get 32 unless it's some sort of decimal number, which is going to be very hard to figure out. So by using the radical sign, we're going to, we're going to split this up into the number portion and the letter portion. So we're going to split the 32 away from the x squared, which is a perfect square. x times x gives you x squared. 32, not as easy to do. So you need to think of some of the um, factors of 32 where, that might include a perfect square inside of it. For example, if you multiply 16 times 2, that gives you 32. And 16 is a perfect square because 4 times 4 gives you 16. You also have this x squared over here to worry about as well. So you have a perfect square here, you have a perfect square here, and this 2 is not a perfect square because 1 times 1 is 1 and 2 times 2 is 4. So you're looking at some weird decimal number in order to get this to be a perfect square. So the 16 we're going to take, 4 times 4 gives you 16, so the square root of 16 is 4. The square root of x squared, x times x, is here, and you're left over with this non-perfect square here. This is the simplest form of our 32x squared in the radical symbol. I'm Tom Ruiz. You do the math.